Good morning. I'm Father John Duffy, and welcome to Match Unto My Feet. As Christians throughout the world are preparing to celebrate their holiday of Easter, our Jewish friends and neighbors are celebrating their holiday of Passover. Now, we've been invited into the home of Mr. Morris Dithers, chairman of the men's club at B'nai Amula Congregation. Now, the Passover ceremony is already in progress in the Dithers' home. Is so it time to start eating yet? Why don't we just take a look at this fascinating ceremony and join them? Stevie, will you stop throwing the matzo and listen to what Grandpa is saying? Mr. Dithers, everyone. Hello, Father. I, I understand that everything on the table has some significance. Yes, Father, this is called parosis. It's chopped nuts, apples, and wine. It represents the bricks that were made by the Hebrews when they were in bondage. I'm gonna rip your arms off, Cheryl, if you don't stop throwing things. Uh, this, Father, is bitter herbs. It's horseradish. It represents the bitterness of their lives as uh, slaves. And what does the salad mean? Salad? It's just a shallot. Don't mean nothing. We like to have a shallot in front of us. I got coleslaw if you prefer, Father. Oh, no. Salad's fine, Mrs. Dillard. All right. You see the dishes, Father? $18.95. And tea. No, that's what they cost. The setting. Good, huh? Dan, 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 I'd like to talk to you later, okay? Uh, Mr. Dithers, what is Judaism exactly? Is it just a religion? Uh, Judaism is, uh, no, it's much more than a religion. Stevie, Francine, if you don't shut up, this priest is going to hit you. Well, uh, if it's more than a religion, is it a way of life? Uh, no, no, it's not quite a way of life. You want the father to hit you? He's Irish, you know. They got a temper. <laughs> What, what, what is uh, Judaism exactly? Food, Judaism I'm is a way of eating. I'm still bringing. <laughs> this is the part of the service where the grandfather smacks the grandchildren for messing around at the little table that's been set up for them in the corner. <laughs> Dad, I'd like to talk to you after we finish eating, all right? It's so important to speak now. No, no, it'll, it'll wait. Well, it'll, all right. it'll wait. Okay. Stevie, I'm gonna kill you! The candlesticks, Father. Sterling silver. Uh Dad, will you please hurry up? The kids are hungry. That's why they're acting up. You don't hurry these things. You do them. So, page 32, everybody. I'm going to sing. What's the significance of that song? I like it. It's from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> So, Father Duffy, you're not married, huh? One more, young man, and I'm getting the strap. Harry, do something with the kids. My head is breaking. Well, what do you want? You're not, uh, you Mrs. Stop? Dithers, you're not Jewish, are you? So? Yeah. Where do you eat Father. the chicken, Father? It's so tender, you plot. It's the chicken. This is insane, Father. I'm more chicken with a brisket, veal, turkey, and mashed milk and chicken. This is an insane woman. <laughs> I'm getting the strap. Do something. You wait, Father. He said it, but wait at least the whole thing. I won't. Okay, if you're not going to hurry kids start eating let's go this is how you treat the shader you don't start eating until the service is finished dad i'm sick and tired of the business Dave, not here. no i want out i, I want to start my own business sick and tired of being the largest manufacturer of shoelace nibs in north america yeah three kinds of potatoes sweet mashed and boiled for my harold you're insane thank you father father duffy would you do me a favor please and crack that kid a good one for me no challenge no challenge that's right Father, where did you hail from? San Francisco. San Francisco. Okay. So how did you come? You came at all or did you fall? Well, the reason I ask is we disturb you there. So we make the nibs for the shoelaces. Look at this. Is this some nibs? Save me some nibs. And you say this is no challenge? That's right. What do you think, Father? Well, actually, it'd be nice yeah. if we continue with this fascinating ceremony. Uh, and this business is my life. All right, and you life. dare say to me it's no challenge? So, my life is no challenge? Well, that's so, what you're going to say. Actually, Jesus Christ. It was uh, Jesus Christ was celebrating the Passover at the Last Supper. So? Well, Hurry up and finish the way to make room for the rest of the food. Mom, just sit down, please. We're gonna eat. I'm not hungry. I'll eat later. Come on, the veal looks delicious. Let's eat, all right? Eat your chicken. Come on. You don't like the chicken? I'm flopsing from the chicken, Ma. Okay. It's a little dry. I'm gonna get 
some gravy. Oh, no. Will you just eat your food? Will you just eat your food? Gary, I'm not bringing those kids anywhere again. They don't have a hand in your food. It's my fault. I come to my parents' house and try to eat a meal. All I get is insults. Why can't you make crumble like that? They can't even say it. Yeah. Yeah. We've run out of time. I'm sure you're as grateful as I am to the Gibbons family for helping us celebrate this, uh, this wonderful ritual.